In my sophomore year of high school, I found out that I had dyslexia. When you have dyslexia, reading words becomes a maze in your mind. You're always cracking codes and solving puzzles. But for a magician, these are essential skills. First, magic was a mask I wore to entertain my dad. When I was young, dad showed me this one simple trick and it blew my mind. He was not a magician, but if I learned a trick, it would definitely get his attention. I carry an eight ball in my wallet. It's kind of my everywhere trick to remind me of my father. Now I specialize in conversational magic, face to face with people up close. In the end, any art form is really just an excuse to meet another human being. Please welcome magical ringmaster, Garrett Thomas. Tell her, you are known as a master of sleight of hand. And I'm going to do something bold. I'm gonna do my sleight of hand right here under your nose if you'll join me. Please tell her. Thank you. You can turn anything into a puzzle or a game. Even something as simple as a ring can be turned into a game. But I want you to have a really close look at this. Examine my hand. <laughs> Make sure there is no uh, prosthetics or the fingers are solid. <laughs> Two hands and a ring. We're gonna go from one finger to the next without going near the fingertips. It's gonna go the other way around. I'm not sure what that means, but it sounds painful. <laughs> from here to there without going near the top. It's gonna go this way. It is painful. But all the way through, all four fingers, just like so. But even better if you can take your right hand and go like this, go like this, give me a finger, good choice. <laughs> and with your other hand, with your other hand, I want you to hold on to the tip of your finger. Perfect. Now, I can't go up, I can't go down, I can't go left or right. Look, a distraction. <laughs> even with misdirection, you're not gonna let go. But hold your breath, make a wish, count to three. You can check it out. Everybody thinks it's the ring. There's an old saying that suggests that something's gotta give. But why would the magician give you the ring if it's the ring that gives? And if it's not the ring that gives, you have to ask the question, what gives? <laughs> My grandfather had this condition. I hate bringing this up because somebody in your family will have had this, but to raise awareness, it's important that we talk about these things. The very tip of his thumb used to come straight off. <laughs> You'll notice I did not pull the ring through my thumb. That is because the ring is too small. It will not fit past the knuckle. <laughs> but it got worse for me. It spread, not the top of the fingers, but all the way down. And I, I, I don't... See, it's so easy once you know that. You just pull the ring through the hole at the bottom. This is precisely why we don't tell you how it's done. Because knowing it ruins the whole thing. Thank you very much.
<laughs> wow, that was pretty bold, doing it right under Teller's nose. Yes, and I am very much out of my element. Uh, I never do stage magic. Really? Uh, I would rather spend a moment with each person than do a big show. Having someone up close is, to me, the best, the best part of magic. Well, how does it feel to perform in front of hundreds of people? Um, it, feels, it feels fantastic, you know, but I want to meet everybody. You know, I wish I, could, <laughs> I wish I could come down and show everybody something, so thank you. Well, I'm sure they would like to meet oh, yes. you as well. <laughs> Our paths will cross. Yeah. All right, Garrett. Yeah. Let's take this to the next level. Oh, there's a next level. And find out if you fooled them. Oh. Yeah. Penn, tell her. Garrett, uh, you know, people say they love sleight of hand. We try to give them sleight of hand. That really was sleight of hand in every way. And you just killed the audience. They absolutely loved it. I'm not going to speak in code to you. I'm going to speak outright in English. The only thing we can think of is that you have a ring that is so carefully constructed to come apart in halves, either with a very strong magnet or with a shell or something like that, that an audience member or even teller on very, very, very careful examination cannot get the damn thing to come apart. <laughs> now, if you have that ring gimmicked in any way, we're not going to give it to you. If you did that in any way other than that, with what would have to be pure sleight of hand, we're not going to cheat and say, okay, it's sleight of hand, because we didn't catch you on anything. If it is anything other than a ring that comes apart, you have fooled us and you make the call. Doesn't prove it. I want your word. I trust you more than my eyes. It is an absolutely normal ring. It does not come apart. It does not come apart. You fooled us, sir. Possible Foolers coming up next. Yeah.